Hi, this is Superintendent of Schools Bill Olson with another school system update. I recently presented the fiscal 2018 school system budget to our school committee. That's the budget that will uh, apply to the 2017-2018 school year. Uh, the budget increase uh, over this current school year is 2.38 percent. Uh, that happens to be the figure that the town manager has given us as her recommended increase for fiscal 18. Uh, you've supported us, along with the boards and uh, committees and town administration over many years in providing uh, funding for our school system, uh, allowing us to improve the quality of programs and services, which has been instrumental in developing the overall achievement levels and reputation of our school system. We want to um, point out that the budget brings forth several new positions. Uh, one, a teacher for English language learner students. Uh, this is a position we actually need this year in the budget and we're recognizing it financially in next year's budget. Uh, we have a number of students in Westford who are of limited or no English speaking ability uh, and we need to educate students to uh, develop English proficiency as quickly as possible so that they can really begin, become integrated into their classrooms to the greatest extent possible. We're also in need of uh, some special education positions, a limited number, because our population of children with, uh, who have identified uh, disabilities is increasing, as it is in every other school system. Uh, at Westford Academy, we will have 65 more students next year. Uh, Westford Academy next year will have its highest enrollment in the history of the town, and over the next two years, the enrollment will increase even more. We're projecting 1,745 students for next year at Westford Academy, 1,752 for the following year, and 1,758 students in fiscal 2020. Um, at the same time, we'll keep a careful eye on our elementary enrollment. Um, as I believe I've indicated in a prior program to you, there are 642 new residential units that are scheduled for development over the next two to three years in Westford. That will certainly create an increase in our enrollment at all levels, particularly beginning at the elementary level and perhaps going up through middle and high school also. So the budget uh, is uh, submitted. We've made every effort to uh, trim areas that we feel we can without affecting negatively affecting programs and services to children. And we've also reallocated some monies within the budget uh, to areas of emerging or greater needs that perhaps were not present uh, anymore and were present in the past, uh, you know, past fiscal years. So that's the um, budget. We've submitted the capital plan also to the uh, school committee with several projects in mind that, that need to be funded over the next several years, uh, including some pump replacements, major circulated pump replacements and, and plumbing work at the uh, Blanchard School along with uh, some emergency communications equipment. Uh, and some um, work on the facilities, high school field facilities and track at uh, Westford Academy, including bleachers, bathrooms, replacement of the, uh, of the track and replacement of lighting. Those projects will be phased in over the next several years. I want to uh, recognize that this is American Education Week and a lot of schools are uh, engaging in programs to recognize National Education Week, or American Education Week, I should say, excuse me. At the Abbott School, I had an opportunity to participate in a reading to a fifth grade class. Mrs. Freeman's class was very enjoyable. There were a number of other readers in the school who were reading to all classes at the Abbott. Uh, we read a book, uh, carefully reviewed the illustrations, and had a wonderful discussion with the students, and it's always an enjoyable, enjoyable time. At the Nab Nassau School, uh, Renetta Bowers, who is the author of the Free to Be uh, book series, spent the day at the NAB NASA talking with children and teachers, and it was a, a very inspiring day. Our uh, fine arts coordinator, uh, Andrew Mejia, has uh, indicated to me that Jack uh, Crossley, a Westwood Academy senior, has uh, participated in the All National Honor Ensemble in Grapevine, Texas. This is a, um, a program that honors uh, the top musical students, whether it's musicians or singers, in high schools throughout the country. And Jack represented not only Westford Academy, but the state of Massachusetts. And so we want to congratulate him for this outstanding accomplishment. 
At the Blanchard Middle School, uh, Nancy Close, teacher Nancy Close has done an, an outstanding job uh, in uh, teaching students innovation and entrepreneurial skills. And she has her students in uh, STEM classes at the present time uh, working on a very, very interesting project of designing a new innovative school locker. As you know, those are interesting uh, personal havens uh, for e each and every student, particularly starting at middle school and progressing through high school. And I've looked at some of the pictures and there's some, some incredibly interesting designs that students have uh, thought through because they're the practitioners. They're the users of lockers day in and day out. They know what works and they know what doesn't work. Uh, at this time of year also, I want to mention that the, it's pre-Thanksgiving. This is a time that many schools are conducting a food drive. And at the Stony Brook School, uh, continuing with, with a uh, tradition, uh, Principal Chu has indicated that uh, he is looking for donations of non-perishable items to fill his office and fill the assistant principal's office. And so we're hoping that you'll send as many uh, non-perishable items in as possible because we'd like to uh, relocate him out of his office for a little little while now prior to Thanksgiving with so many donations of, uh, of food and we'll all chip in. I know you will too and we'll, uh, we'll have a great time doing that and that greatly benefits the Westwood Food Pantry. Since Thanksgiving is coming up I want to wish our students, our staff and all of you a very happy Thanksgiving. Thanks and I'll see you next time.